Thanks for joining us today. I'm MJ Enveen. I'm going to be talking about the Fairmont Collection Reserve Plus. So what is it exactly? It's one of the greatest hoards to ever exist in US coinage. We're talking about United States gold coins that have somehow survived the melting process in 1933 and were moved somewhere overseas and somehow saved from that process is truly a miracle and a great mystery. And the coins that were gathered in 1933 were then melted and put into bars that are now residing in Fort Knox. And these were missed. These were saved and held in a place that they didn't lose any visual appeal. I mean, it's absolutely astounding that I'm seeing something that looks like it was freshly struck. And I'm beyond excited to share with you what we have today. So to get right into it, what can you tell us about the Fairmont collection? Well, it's all gold coins. We'll start there. So it's all gold coins struck uh, by the United States mints, pretty much all from 1835 up through the early 1930s. So in, in 1933, as you know, the U.S. government bans the ownership of gold by private citizens. So gold coins tended to kind of go into hiding at that point. A lot of them ended up in bank vaults. There was a special sort of cutout in the law for numismatic coins, in other words, coins that collectors liked, uh, because FDR, Secretary of the Treasury at that point, was a coin collector. Oh, that's amazing. So tell us a little bit about the rarity. Like, sure. obviously these coins, many of them were melted down. You know, they come back into the fold. But this hoard specifically, like, yes. what's its rarity like? So in terms of rarity of these gold coins, so there's basically two kinds of, of rarity in the world of coin collector and numismatics. You've got empirical rarity, just how many were made. And that's very, very easy for everyone to understand. Something that had 500 made is rarer than something that had 500 million made. Mm. You talked about melting, there's a survivorship issue too. Just as these gold coins would have, in many cases, been made from earlier kinds of gold coins that would have been melted down and recycled, so we've got coins in here that have low mintages, that are rare dates and special for that reason, but then you've got things that maybe aren't rare as dates, but are in a very, very rare quality. Wow. The, the question I get from my customers all the time, they all, it seems that it's always like the frequently asked question, why are coins graded? Oh, great question. People can see quality differences in coins. So in 1986, is when PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, was uh, founded. So it's been nearly 40 years now, and they've graded millions and millions and millions of coins. And they're one of the preeminent top third-party independent grading services uh, worldwide. Coin grading comes down to three primary factors. Uh, the graders are looking, for, looking at uh, the strike quality, when these things were, when the coins were manufactured at the mint, how did, the press that made them was the quality of the strike. They're also looking at the surface marks or the nicks and scratches on the coins because of how these coins were distributed or stored or transferred. And then the third uh, element is the luster or the eye appeal of the coin. And I think with uh, these coins and specifically this $10 gold Liberty that I'm holding. In this case, this is from 1881 in a mint state 63. A collector now has the opportunity, whether they've been collecting for 50 years or just starting today with this, uh, this vintage gold coin. Thank you again for spending time with us today and learning about the Fairmont Collection Reserve Plus. I, you can tell I'm obviously excited. Our experts are excited. I hope that you felt that as well and that you, you know, got a little bit of information for you to be, be able to make an educated decision for yourself. We really think that this is going to be something you're gonna be very proud to own. So thank you again for spending time with us today. Have a great day.